You're listening to international investment advisor Doug Goldstein on the Goldstein on Gelt Show, the financial show where we'll talk about how you can make the most of your money. With all the confusing financial chatter bombarding you each and every day, Goldstein on Gelt will give you the practical information you want and need about living a financially stable life. Here's your host, money maven Doug Goldstein. Okay, we are back. We are talking to Doug Turner, who founded the Millionaire's Concierge in 1996. He puts together programs for people with a wide variety of interests, whether it's being on a private yacht, taking a Learjet, or even going on a fighter jet. Doug, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me. It's, it's, it's a pleasure. All right. Listen, I'd like to first understand this idea of the Millionaire's Concierge. What gave you the idea to set it up? Well, let's see, back in the uh, mid-80s and early 90s, I was in the exotic car business at a, at a place called, well, actually, we were the largest in the world. It was called the Auto Toy Store, and we were the largest in the world in exotic cars. We had Ferrari, Lamborghini, uh, Aston Martin, Mercedes, Porsche, Bentley, Rolls-Royce, and people would come here to Fort Lauderdale. That's where I started out. The showroom was on Sunrise Boulevard, and they would come into town and you know buy a $300,000 car, and they then they'd want to know where to go to dinner or what hotel to stay in or they'd like to get a boat or, or a limo or a plane to the Bahamas. And I just had all the contacts because the toy store was like uh, a landmark. Anybody that was anybody was in the toy store. So I had all the connections to get all these different things. So I'd help them out doing it. And I was doing it, you know, for free. I wasn't charging them, charging them but they were buying, a, you know, a very special exotic car. And then in 96, my mom said, why don't you start a business? And, and I was still, still at the auto toy store. And we came up with the name Millionaire's Concierge. We patented it. And then I got on shows such as Oprah Winfrey. And Christ, the rest is history. I've been on 26 shows around the world now. It's really something. And as Oprah put, I'm, I'm, put it, I'm basically the yellow pages for the rich and famous. Wow, that's <laughs> fabulous. So for people who are living large, especially in times of economic distress like we're in now, <clears throat> does this seem reasonable uh well but you know what the people say that and ask me that there's a lot of money out there there's a lot of wealth out there there's 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 a nice little a big little niche so to speak for services like mine and a lot of the things i have nobody else can offer you can't google it uh i mean i have a great little niche you know i have a lot of one, once in a lifetime experiences but i mean there's still a lot of money out there there's a lot of new money coming out there's a lot of a lot of new new businesses coming out, a lot of new technology, a lot of new wealth. I mean, it's just uh, it's like starting all over again. Oh, I guess that's an optimistic sign about the economy. What are some of the uh, special things that you do that other people can't find? Well, for example, one of the most very popular thing is is uh, a fighter jet flight, which is uh, we have two locations in the country, which are the only two in the country. It's Tampa, Florida, and Chino, California. Mm -hmm. and you have an option of a 30-minute flight or you have an option of a one-hour flight. Wow. And also included in it is a 30-minute pre-briefing, a DVD of the flight right in your cockpit, and the pilot will let you fly the jet. So you're doing barrel <laughs> rolls at 650 miles an hour. So <laughs> that's on a lot of people's bucket list, and that's, that's a tough thing to be able to, to find out and, out, you know, to find anywhere. That is amazing. What kind of fighter jet? It's an L-39 Albatross Russian fighter jet. Oh. Well. Yep, it's really something. When he fires that thing up, it's 4,000 pounds of thrust. Your hair stands up. <laughs> <laughs> and they do barrel rolls? They flip upside down? Upside down, barrel rolls. I mean, you, you, know, you can go on my site, millionairesconcierge.com. There's a great video of it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. you can't put any words on that experience. I mean, it's just the ultimate rush is what it is. I mean, I've had a 71-year-old lady go three times. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. Um, it's just, it's just. I mean, it's, you know, it's got the ejection seat. You, you suit up. You got the helmet on. You're talking back and forth to the pilot, and it's just, it's there's there's nothing like it. I mean, I get you get a DVD with a flight, and I watch all the DVDs before I send them to the people. Mm -hmm. So I mean, all I see is all I see is their teeth because all they're doing is smiling. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep, it's really something. <laughs> yeah, my son is very interested in fighter planes. Of course, he'd like to fly in an F-35, which is the newest, but maybe that's a couple of years down the line until you'll offer that one? No, the only thing we can really get you on, the best thing in the United States is an L-39, which what it is, it's like a smaller F-16. It's just not quite as fast. 
Uh-huh. Well, I'm guessing for most civilians, that must be plenty. Oh, it's plenty. Uh, I've never had anybody complain. Like I tell everybody, with that, with that experience, if you don't love it, I'll give you all your money back. Who does that in this world? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. What other sorts of, uh, what are the top things that people like doing? Well, I have, I have involved many, many of them. I mean, I do a lot of work with Hollywood, okay, um, red carpet events, movie premieres, sold out tickets. When you can't get it, that's when people come to me. Um, like last week, I did a set visit of the show Glee, which is a very popular show. I did uh, for a family of eight, two separate set visits. And now for her other son, I'm doing a walk-on role so he can play a role on Glee. No kidding. Non-speaking, yeah, non-speaking <laughs> role. So that's coming up. I do a lot of that. Any of the talk shows, Alan, Jay Leno, all that, I have all the talk shows I can get you in the audience. Uh, all, you know, the red carpet events, um, you know, uh, Golden Globes. Uh, you got uh, the American Music Awards coming up. You got the Country Music Music Awards coming up. Uh, American Idol tickets, X Factor tickets. You name the show on TV, I have it. Wow. Concerts, you know, if you want to sit, you know, in the front. We do a lot of meet and greets backstage at concerts with all the you know famous singers. Um, we have celebrities for hire. If you want to have lunch with a celebrity, I mean, we can do that. I uh, just hired Donald Trump not long ago for fifteen thousand for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, you'd be surprised how wacky people are and what they'll spend money on. Uh, that really doesn't make sense well, listen, to you and I. Enjoy it. That's, uh, that's, so the people you're working with are obviously people who have money, and you've spoken with them. Is there any trend or any sort of similarity that you see that you could tell our listeners on the show? This show is really a personal finance show. My, my day job is that I'm a financial advisor. I'm always looking for a good piece of advice to give clients in order to get to the level where they could be using your services. Well, it's just like, you know, with me. I mean, I saw a niche. I saw an opportunity. I mean, I was doing it for years before, and I, it's like I, I did the foundation, I did the groundwork, I was doing it, I was doing it, you know, without even charging for it. So you, then you really knew you had something, versus just diving into something and dumping money into something and, and taking a long shot. I mean, I knew I had something, I knew I had a, cor- a corner to niche, um, and that's what I love to do. You know, I love I love what I do. That's the key. I never say I'm. You know, I have a job. I never call it work. I don't even like saying I'm going back to the office <laughs> because it pertains to like this is this is not a job. This is an adventure. I mean, what I everything I do is fun. I mean, I sell fun. I don't sell health insurance. You know, I'm not selling car insurance. <laughs> you know, you got to find that niche what you love, and you got to go for it. But it's it, you know. Like I said, I mean, I tested it for many years and knew I had a winner, and, uh, you know, here I am 17 years later. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dentist, you know, <laughs> and they're very successful people. I, di- I didn't do real well in high school. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I just came back from my 30th class reunion. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's a lot of successful people, uh, you know, didn't do well in school, and they go and find a niche, and they go for it, and, uh, you know, look at some of these guys. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. I so mean, find what you love. That's very interesting. We, uh, we had on the show Jamie Tardy, who has a website called The Eventual Millionaire, and she interviews people who are millionaires, and the, the, uh, the first tip that she gave us was to find something that she loves. So that's, I, I'm seeing a common trend. We are talking to Doug Turner, who founded the Millionaire's Concierge in 1996, the concept that he has to bring people to the most fantastic adventures is really something special. I haven't seen it elsewhere. In fact, he was on Oprah and Carmen Electra and all over the TV. Uh, Doug, we only have a couple of minutes left, but tell me, who would be your ideal client? My ideal client is, you know, I deal with a lot of CEOs of companies. Uh, I deal with some celebrities. Um, you know, people that are successful people. And like you just said, I mean, if you, like, if you start something and just like it, you probably won't make it, okay? But if you start something and love it, the chances are you will make it because I mean, you'll make it work. When you love something, you make it work, you know? I mean, it's the big difference between liking and loving, I think, especially with, you know, with your creating your own niche business, you know? And like I tell everybody, you only live once, you'll be dead a long time, you know? Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing like it. We, you know, we're all over the world, millionairesconcierge.com. That's millionaires, plural. Um, 888-6-STARS, my 800 number. 
and you know we cater all over the world uh, New York Aspen Las Vegas uh, LA Bahamas South Florida uh, we take care of all of Europe for uh, special special services and do you have clients um, that come in from Europe and the Middle East and the Far East? Oh yeah, we get we have clients from all over the world. So I'm, you know I'm up in the middle of the night working. Also, I answer the phone twenty four seven. Wow. wow. Yep. I, I got to ask you a question. On the website, you talk about 007 missions. The last minute, can you just tell me what does that mean? Yeah, that's that's quite just like you know I name a few. I might have a pretty woman package on there also, but 007, <laughs> 007 mission is just like the movie kind of. We have a, in Miami. We have a limousine pick you up, bring you to our Bell Jet Ranger helicopter. We give you a quick tour of South Beach, Miami. Then we go out to the Everglades. You land in the Everglades right next to your own high performance airboat. You jump in the airboat for an hour and go through the Everglades, infested with millions of you know alligators and cougars and deer and wild birds and oh, it's it's just amazing. Then back to the uh, helicopter and real quick there, the guy uh, wrestles an alligator, which is the craziest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> then back in the helicopter, back to the airport. Then at the airport, you jump in a 300L extra stun plane, which is what you see at the air shows. It blows the white smoke out. You go up in the stun plane, you can pull up the 9Gs. Then after that, back in the limo into Miami Marina, then you jump in a um, 35-foot cigarette for your two-hour cigarette race boat, Adrenaline Rush, which oh, is really God. something. Then after that, back in the limo, and back wherever you started. I have a lot of trips like that which are all limousine pick-up and drop-off, so you never have to worry about how to get there. <laughs> That's a hell of a trip, though. Just like, the, just like the movie, James Bond, 007. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's one of many. You've got to go to the site once again, millionairesconcierge.com. Nothing like it. All right. Doug Turner, I've really enjoyed talking to you. I'm all inspired now. I definitely want to have the kind of fun that it sounds like you and your clients are having, and I hope we'll get to hear more from you again in the future. Thank you, and remember, you only live once. You'll be dead a long time. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Goldstein on Gelt Show with money maven Doug Goldstein. Doug's weekly radio show is heard around the world, but if you miss it, you can download the podcast at www.goldsteinongelt.com. The Goldstein on Gelt Show gives you up-to-date financial ideas so you can get on the path to financial freedom. If you'd like your questions answered on the air or off, send Doug an email to Doug at Profile-Financial.com. It's your money for your future, so join Doug every week to build your wealth on the Goldstein on Gelt Show.